my dear friend, she is a big fan of the Go-Go's and recently inducted them into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Joining me in the studio is Drew Barrymore. Good morning. Hi, Cindy. She, you know, you are such a ray of sunlight and it's so nice because you know, I've watched you since you were little, little, and loved you, and then if you came in and you were mean, I would be so disappointed. First of all, <laughs> anyone who behaves like that shocks me, too. Yeah. It's like, why would you treat people like know, that? Like, we're here on this planet to take care of each other, yeah. and each exchange, I believe, big or small, has the potential to really catapult someone in the right or wrong direction in their day. It could be as quick as you're grabbing something at a counter, mm -hmm. but... Do you smile at that person? Do yeah. you engage with them? Yeah. Do you give each other that boost that human to human kindness does? And well, you I'm do. really obsessed with it. You do, <laughs> and I really love that. All right, we've got some Drew news to share this morning. Um, up first, Men in Skirts. You did a story we about did. this with Bobby Moynihan. Let's take a look at what you did. Yep, it's trending. <laughs> First up, CNN reports dudes everywhere are taking their pants off mm -hmm. and embracing skirts. You gotta finish that sentence. Uh, <laughs> A-listers like Brad Pitt, Lil Nas X, and Oscar Isaac have recently been spotted sporting skirts, and it's not just a phase. More and more guys are opting for this free and breezy fashion statement. And remember, in ancient Greece and Rome, men were all about the skirt life. Pants didn't come into the picture until skirts became impractical and dangerous to wear in factories during the Industrial Revolution. They look good. They look really handsome and stylish. I think so too. And I, you know, what I love is, that, is you know, people are saying, oh my gosh, guys in skirts. But if you think about it, look at you, you have a tie on. Yes. Just, you know, a few years ago, that would not have been acceptable. I have always loved um, the fact that we sort of are you know, shocked by things, but if you go to Scotland or you think mm -hmm. about the Roman times, men were in yeah. skirts. So yeah. really it's just fashion coming back full circle. And then finding out the industrial revolution sort of tidbit and morsel of history. I'm always thinking like, how can we have an educational historical aspect or a thinking piece or a, hmm, I didn't know that. Right. Um, I want it to be funny. I want it to be informational. And I love a spin on the news because I am a news junkie. She is. You started watching at like 13 years old. You had the news on all the time. I never not have the news no. on. It makes me feel safe. And I think there's always an opportunity. We have to do our civic duty and pay attention to all the top line stuff. We have to listen to difficult stuff. But we've got to give people hope and show them the good things yeah. that are happening. The function, the metro, the local, what's happening in your community. Those things really matter. And the news can be incredibly uplifting as well. That's what the show is all about. It really is. And I know your show is very much like that. We have a fun story. OK. <laughs> Our next true news story is about boot Boosting your brain by nibbling on something sweet. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Breaking news in food science. The Daily Mail reports that a new study found chomping on something sweet could make you more creative. Well, I must be very creative then. <laughs> Researchers gave people creative tasks to go with their candy, and they found that they performed better. Scientists say that this effect is hardwired into our nervous systems. And ever since way back when, when we were cave people, sweet treats were a positive experience that make us feel safe and company like there are no threats and everything is cool man therefore our brain is more <laughs> open and ready to explore all right and you brought something interesting with you talking about the sweets i did i bought some brock's candy because okay. i think we we should boost brain power and this is actually their tailgate series okay. um, that's wait it's so this is the down. candy corn that we're used to seeing the yellow and the white they have all these flavors right. hot dog hamburger Ugh. this is uh, cherry vanilla ice cream i think wait you tried the hot dog one not nice no it was uh, it, it was interesting <laughs> you know okay. but they actually really taste good we had a whole poo poo platter uh -huh. and a red because they've come out with all these flavors for uh, tailgate season and I think a little spin on the candy corn is always welcome. This one's fruit punch and vanilla ice cream. It's pretty good. It was really good, right? And look, we're boosting our open our brains. <laughs> and then I'm going to have to tell my kids your brains are boosted enough. Cut yeah, it off. Yeah, cut it off. I have to tell you, our meteorologist Elise Finch, this is her favorite candy. The candy, candy corn. corn. So we're going to be giving her this bag and she can go to town. Well, that's funny because I just stalked Elise in the hallway because <laughs> I watch her every morning and I really think that the weather is a big metaphor for talk about happiness or mm -hmm. actionability, like what can you do that day? I'm a weather obsessor and I just got a hot tip from her on where to check my weather. Could it be the CBS 2 News app? It, it is. <laughs> okay. 
and um, also the National Weather Service. Mm -hmm. um, so I am like, I'm one of those people, you know when you're young and you hear people like asking about the weather and they think, oh, you old weirdo. Why, are, <laughs> why do you care so much about the weather? Guess what? We're old I'm weirdos. I'm the old weirdo. I'm like, what's the weather? All right, so what do we have <laughs> on today's show? Oh, my goodness. We have John Hamm on the show today. <gasps> oh, wow. And he is... He's everything, you know. He's, he's as talented. nice as he is handsome. He is as nice as he is handsome. And I remember my girlfriend who knows him telling me this. It isn't fair. He shouldn't be this funny while being that handsome. Right. But he is. Um. And I know a lot of people that know him. It's really my first time, like, hanging out and engaging with him. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we sit on the floor because I love to disarm <laughs> people and be weird. Um, and take off my shoes and bring my dog. And we launched in a pandemic. And the yeah. rules were... Up in the air, right? Which I think I wanted to take advantage of that because we are living, we were living in a new normal, and I thought, how can we get rid of the tropes of daytime and you know just yeah. break it down and get right to the stuff? And he really goes there, and he's just such a wonderful guy. He's everything you hope he will be. Good, good, yeah, because. You'd think he'd be mean or something just because he looks so good. And he's a great actor. Like he could get away with it. Yeah, he could. He'll Nobody gets away with it. In <laughs> fact, I, I've met attractive people, and at the end of the day, you're like, pass, because yeah. you're not beautiful on the inside. Yeah. No. So he's Agreed. beautiful on the outside and inside. Yeah, He'll boost your brain energy. <laughs> Drew, thank you so much for joining us. So I nice love you, Cindy. You. I'm so happy. We're sister shows, I and know. this makes me so happy. Can I come hang out more often? Anytime. And next time, can you bring your dogs? Oh. It's a date. Okay. Yay! All right, you can watch the Drew Barrymore Show Monday through Friday at 9.30 a.m., immediately following CBS 2 News at 9 a.m. We'll be right back.